Welcome to Vani Current Affairs. International Women Day, 8th of March. The International Women's Day is celebrated on March 8 every year to celebrate the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. The theme for International Women's Day 2021 is Women in Leadership, Achieving an Equal Future in COVID-19 World. According to UN Women website, it aims to celebrate the tremendous efforts by women and girls around the world in shaping a more equal future and recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic. PM Modi inaugurates 7500 Jan Aushadi Kendra at Naigrims, Shillong. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will address the Jan Aushadi Divas celebrations via video conferencing. The last day of the week, which falls on 7th of March, is celebrated as Jan Aushadi Divas. The theme of Jan Aushadi Divas 2021 is Jan Aushadi Seva Bhi Rojgar Bhi. The Prime Minister will dedicate the nation the 7500 Jan Aushadi Kendra at Northern India Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Science. Shillong during the event. National Committee to commemorate 75th year of India's independence to hold its first meeting. The National Committee set up to commemorate 75th years of India's independence will hold its first meeting to discuss modalities related to preparatory activities. The 259 member committee headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi will meet virtually. The committee includes union minister, chief ministers, governors, as well as leaders of different political parties, including BJP President JP Nadda and Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi. The government has decided to commemorate 75th years of India's independence in a befitting manner at national and international level in form of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. All helpline numbers of railways merged into single number. Indian Railway has integrated all railway helplines into single number of 139, which is Rail Madat Helpline for quick grievance redressal and inquiry during the journey. As the new helpline number 139 will take over all existing helpline numbers, it will be easy for passengers to remember this number and connect with railways for all their needs during the travel. The Minister of Railways for all their needs during the travel. The Ministry of Railways in a statement said that various railway grievances helplines will discontinue last year and now helpline number 182 would also be discontinued from 1st of April 2021 and will be merged into 139. Maitri Setu connecting India and Bangladesh inaugurated by PM Modi. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate Maitri Setu between India and Bangladesh through video conferencing. Mr. Modi will also inaugurate and lay the foundation stone of multiple infrastructure project in Tripura during the event. The bridge Maitri Setu has been built over Feni River, which flows between India boundaries in Tripura state and Bangladesh. The name Maitri Setu symbolizes growing bilateral relations and friendly ties between India and Bangladesh. Uttarakhand CM declared 10,000 each for ASHA Anganwadi volunteers. Chief Minister Trivendra Singh Rawat has announced rupees 10,000 each for ASA and Anganwadi volunteers who had worked during the COVID-19 phase on the occasion of International Women Day. He also announced 15,000 for each of the Mahila Mangal Dal and Women Self-Help Groups. When Ifra names the Hindu group champion publisher of the year 2020, the Hindu group won two, gold, two golds and two silvers at Van Ifra's South Asian Digital Media Awards, culminating in the being named champion publisher of the year, owing to the highest tally on the point table. 
The awards are presented in recognition of outstanding work done by news publisher in digital media. India beats England in final cricket test match, qualifies for World Test Champion final. India defeated England in final cricket test match at Ahmedabad to enter the final of the inaugural edition of World Test Championship. The host won the fourth and the final test comprehensively by a margin of an innings and 25 runs. Australia have now been eliminated from the ICC World Test Championship. India made 365 runs in their first innings. India deserved to be in the final being at the top with 520 points. India will face New Zealand in the final of the ICC World Test Championship at Lords between June 18 and June 22. Muthut Group Chairman and Whole Time Director MG George Muthut passed away. MG George Muthut, the chairman of Muthut Group of Companies, died in New Delhi. He was 71 and he became the managing director of Muthut Groups in, 17, in 1979 and its chairman in 1993. India's first ever transgender community desk in Cyberabad. The Cyberabad police launched India's first ever transgender community desk at the Gachimoli police station in Hyderabad. This desk is first of its kind gender inclusive community policing initiative in the country. The desk was formally inaugurated by Cyberabad police chief B.C. Sajjanar in a ceremony that was attended by over 200 transgender people. PM lists five pillars to celebrate 75th years of independence, chairing the first meeting of the National Committee to commemorate 75th years of independence, Ajadika Amrit Mahatsa virtually. Prime Minister Narendra Modi informed that five pillars have been decided for the celebration of 75th years. These are freedom struggle ideas at 75 and achievement at 75 actions at 75 and result at 75. Center announces more than 81% accounts under Stand Up India scheme belong to women entrepreneurs. Government has said that more than 81% accounts under Stand Up India scheme and about 68% of loan accounts un under Mudra scheme belong to women entrepreneurs. Indian Navy ships to visit Bangladesh on 15th anniversary of 1971 Liberation War. On part of the Swarnim Vijay Varsh celebration commemorating 50 years of 1971 war triumph against Pakistan, Indian naval ships are scheduled to make the first ever visit to historic port town of Mongla in Bangladesh from March 8 to 10. Indian naval ships Sumedha, an indigenously built offshore patrol vessel, and Kulish, an indigenously built guided missile corvette, are scheduled to make a port call at Mongla from March 8 to 10 to commemorate the ongoing Swarnim Vijay Varsh and reiterating the historic Indo Bangladeshi friendship. The two Indian naval ships arrive in port city Mongla, Bangladesh. Two ships of Indian Navy arrived at port city of Mongla in Bangladesh on a port call between March 8 to 10. The ship INS Kulish and INS Sumedha with, com with Commander MV Raju, NM Naval Officer in charge Andhra Pradesh on board were given a ceremonial welcome by Bangladesh Navy on their arrival in Mongla. INS Sumedha is an indigenously built offshore patrol vessel and police is the indigenously built guided missile corvette. Uttar Pradesh government launches second phase of Mission Sakti. Uttar Pradesh government launched the second phase of Mission Sakti on the occasion of International Women's Day. It will become a milestone in women empowerment. In addition to that, first commercial flight from Bareilly also started on March 8. The flight was operated by all women crew members carrying 60 passengers to Delhi. 
with this flight, Bareilly becomes eighth city in the state with flight service on four days in a week to Delhi within 2,000 rupees. Manipur, Pradhan Mantri Van Dhan Yojana become changing factor for lives of tribal women. There are a number of tribes across country and the government has been implementing many welfare schemes and programs just to improve their income through various means. One such initiative is Pradhan Mantri Van Dhan Yojana, which was launched in 2018 by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs and Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India with an intention to improve the tribal income through value addition of tribal products. The scheme has become a changing factor for the lives of many tribal women in Manipur. Manipur has 771 Dhanvika Kendras comprising 1,995 self-help groups and around 25,000 beneficiaries. KVGB launches new loan scheme for women entrepreneurs. The Dharwad headquarter Karnataka Vikas Gramir Bank has launched the Vikas Asha loan scheme for women. This new loan scheme is ex exclusively for women to meet business related needs, including purchasing machineries, equipment, vehicle, and working capital requirements under micro and small enterprises, including retail trade. Under this scheme, the bank will extend loan up to maximum of 10 lakh with a repayment period of 84 months. Nomad Land and the Crown won big at 26th Annual Critics' Choice Awards. Nomad Land and the Crown won big at 26th Annual Critics' Choice Awards that was held earlier. The ceremony hosted by Kai Dix was held as an in-person virtual hybrid show. Similar to recently held Globe, Golden Globes Award ceremony, a few presenter, presenters were present on stage in Los Angeles, while nominees appeared on the screen from all across the world. India finished with 10 medals, including one gold at Boxham International. The 35th edition of Boxham International Tournament was held at Castellon in Spain. Uh, 14 members, eight men and six women, Indian conti contingent had participated in the event and concluded the game with 10 medals, including Vinesh Poghat, continues her golden run, reclaims world number one rank with gold at Machio Pelicon. Vinesh Poghat continued her golden return to wrestling after she defeated Canada's Diana Wicker 4-0 to win gold medal at Mateo Pelicon Rome rankings. This is her second title win in less than two weeks. With this, she reclaimed the world number one spot. Poghat entered the Mateo Pelicon final in a dominant fashion, confirming a medal for India in 53 kg women wrestling. Labor Minister launches ESI scheme with Ayushman Bharat in 113 districts. Union Minister of Labor and Employment Santosh Kumar Ganwar launched the convergence of ESI scheme with Ayushman Bharat, Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, PMJAY in 113 districts of Chhattisgarh, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, and Maharashtra. This was launched on the culmination day of employees, State Insurance Corporation, ESIC, and Special Services Fortnight at New Delhi. The convergence will ensure that 35 crore ESI beneficiaries in such districts avail cashless medical services through empaneled hospitals of Ayushman Bharat PMJ without any need of referral. To avail medical care, the insured workers or the beneficiary need to carry an ESI e pehchan card or health passbook and Aadhaar card with them. PM unveils Kindle version of Swami Chidbhavna Ji's Bhagavad Gita, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will launch the Kindle version of Swami Chidbhavana Nandaji's Bhagavad Gita and also address the occasion through virtual mode. The event has been organized to commemorate the sale of over 5 lakh copies of Swami Chidbhavana Nandaji's Bhagavad Gita. 
Swami Chidvabhananda Ji is the founder of Shri Krishna Tapovanam Ashram at Tiruparatharai Tiruchirpalli in Tamil Nadu. Jammu and Kashmir, 5,500 hectares of high-density plantation scheme in horticulture sector. The Jammu and Kashmir and Administrative Council under the chairmanship of Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has approved the implementation of high-density plantation scheme in the horticulture sector with the support of National Agricultural Cooperation Marketing Federation of India Limited. The step will go a long way in enhancing the quality and quantity of horticulture produce and doubling the farmer's income. The farmer-centric scheme will be implemented for apple, walnut, almond, cherry, lychee, and olive, among others, over an estimated area of 5,500 hectares of suitable agroclimatic agro zones of six years with effect from March 2021 to March 2026. Sinat Singh Rawat takes oath as Uttarakhand CM in Uttarakhand. Trinath Singh Rawat was sworn in as the new chief minister. He was administered the oath of office by Uttarakhand governor, Baby Rani Maurya at Rajbhavan in Dehradun. Senior BJP leader, central observer and former Chhattisgarh minister, Dr. Raman Singh, along with state BJP in charge, Dushyant Kumar were present on the occasion. Raman Singh told the media that the name of the cabinet ministers will be announced soon. IDBI Bank removed the RBI's PCA framework. Shares of IDBI Bank zoomed nearly 18% in yearly trade after RBI removed the lender from its enhanced regulatory supervision or prompt corrective action framework after a gap of nearly four years. The stock started on a positive note and jumped to 17.12% to rupees 44.80 on BAC. On NSC, it rallied 64% to rupees 45. The RBI had placed IDBI Bank under PCA framework in May 2017 after it had breached the threshold of capital adequacy asset quality return on asset and the leverage ratio. WEF honors Deepika Padukone 2021 Young Global Leaders List. Bollywood, actor, Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone has rejoined the Forum of Young Global Leaders for the year 2021 compiled by World Economic Forum. The 2021 class of list comprises of 112 world's most promising leaders of, the, of under the age of 40, who are involved in activities ranging from advocating for public health care to campaigning for inclusivity in medical research. Second India Uzbekistan joint military exercise, Dust Link Second, begins in Uttarakhand. The second edition of India Uzbekistan joint military exercise, Dust Link Second, commenced in foreign training node Chobatiya Raniket in Uttarakhand. This is the second edition of annual bilateral joint exercise between both the armies. This bilateral joint exercise will be held on 10 days from March 10 to March 19, 2021. Third Scorpini class submarine INS Karanj commissioned into Indian Army in Mumbai. India's third stilt Scorpini class submarine INS Karanj has commissioned into the Indian Navy in Mumbai. The diesel electric submarine was commissioned in presence of Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Karam Beer Singh and Admiral retired B. S. Shekhawat. The technology has been designed by France, Naval, Russian, and China agreed to build an international lunar scientific research station. China and Russia will build a lunar research station on the moon's surface, marking the start of a new era in space cooperation between the two countries. The China National Space Administration mentioned the International Lunar Research Station would also be open to use by other countries. Economic Freedom Index 2021. Singapore ranks first. USA conservation 
conservative think tank, the Heritage Foundation launched the Economic Freedom Index 2021. In the Economic Freedom Index, Singapore has topped the global ranking for the second consecutive year. Singapore increased its overall score by 0.3 points to 89.7%, primarily due to the improvement in the score for government spending. The index has covered 184 countries in the study this time, and the period of study is July 2019 to June 2020. India has been placed at 121 position in the index with a score of 56.5 out of 100. Frontier Gandhi's autobiography released in English, the autobiography of Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan, the freedom fighter titled The Frontier Gandhi, My Life and Struggle has been released. This is the first time that Khan's biography, Khan's autobiography is available in English. It was first published in Iranian language Pasto in 1983, it is translated by former Pakistani civil servant and author Imtiaz Ahmad Shahid Zada. It is published by the publishing house Roly Book. Book title Dynasty to Democracy, the untold story of Smriti, Smriti Irani's triumph. Smriti Irani's victory in Amethi to release in English, the book titled Dynasty to Democracy, the untold story of Smriti Irani's Trump is set to be released. The 44-year-old BJP leader had deputed the then Congress chief and MP Rahul Gandhi in his family bastion by a margin of 55,120 votes. It was the second time that Irani had contested against Rahul Gandhi in Amethi. In 2014, Rahul Gandhi got 4,8651 votes against Irani, 3,748 votes. PV Sindhu settles for silver medal in BWF Swiss Open Super 300. On March 7, 2021, India's S. Sutler PV Sindhu settled for a silver medal in the BWF Swiss Open Super 300 at Basel. She went down against world number three Spaniard and reigning Olympic champion Carolina Marie 12-21, 5-21 in the final of the women's single event. Chess player Humpy wins BBC Indian Women's Sport of the Year Award 2021. World Rapid Champ Chess Champion Koneru Hampi has won the BBC Indian Sportswoman of the Year Award 2021. The award was based on public vote in which Hampi beats sprinter Duti Chan, suitor Manu Bhakar, wrestler Vinesh Poghat, and hockey camp captain Rani Rampal. Lifetime Achievement Award 2021, Anjo Bobby George. Emerging Player of the Year Award 2021, Young Suter Manu Bhakar. Ivory Coast Prime Minister Hamid Bakayoka passes away. The Prime Minister of Ivory Coast, Hamid Bakayoka, has passed away in Germany city of Frenberg. World Kitty Day observed on March 11, second Thursday in March. World Kidney Day is a global health awareness campaign focusing on the importance of kidneys and reducing the frequency and impact of kidney disease and its associated health problem worldwide. World Kidney Day is observed annually on the second Thursday in March. The World Kidney Day Steering Committee has declared 2021 the year of living well with kidney disease. World Sleep Day observed on March 13. World Sleep Day is an annual event observed on March 13, organized by World Sleep Day Committee of the World Sleep Society, formerly World Association of Sleep Medicine, since 2008. The celebration of World Sleep Day are based on some slogans and themes for annual celebrations. So the theme or slogans for World Sleep Day 2021 is regular sleep, healthy future. Jal Jeevan Mission, Jal Sakti Minister to chair the Conference of Ministers of State Union Territories. Jal Sakti Mission, Minister Gajendra Singh Sekhawat will be chairing a Conference of States and Union Territories Minister on Jal Jeevan Mission and review the progress made under the commission. The conference is being organized to discuss planning, implementation, and progress made so far 
as well as the way forward so that remaining households in the villages get tap water connection at the earliest. The mission is a flagship program of center for providing tap water connection in every rural household by 2024. India chair the first meeting of BRICS CGET. The first meeting of the BRICS contact group on economic and trade issues was held under India's chairmanship from 9 till 11 of this month. The theme of BRICS is year BRICS at 15 intra BRICS cooperation for continuity, consolidation, and consensus. Government to launch Atmanirbhar Nirveshak Mitra portal. Government will soon launch Atmanirbhar Nirveshak Mitra portal for hand holding and facilitation of domestic investors. In order to further strengthen efforts to promote domestic investments, the Department for Promotion of Industry and International Trade is in process of finalizing the Atma Nirbhar Niveshak Mitra digital portal. The portal is in testing phase and the final version will be ready for launch by 15th May this year. The web page will also be available in regional language and mobile app in due course. 20 persons to be confirmed Sahitya Academy Awards. Politician writer M. Virappa Moili, poets Arundhati Subramaniam and Anamika are among the 20 writers who will confirm with the Sahitya Academy Award 2020. This annual Sahitya Academy Award has been announced for India's 20 regional languages, including Hindi, Methli, Urdu, and others. According to an official communication of Academy, the seven books of poetry, four books of novels, five books of short stories, two plays, one each of memorials and epic poetry have won the awards. The official statement mentioned that the awards in Malayalam, Nepali, Oriya and Rajasthani will be announced at a later date by Academy. Kamal Khan Jha of Darbhanga backed the award for his short story titled Gacha Rusal Achi on the importance of plantation in Maithili, while Anamika from Muzaffarpur won in poetry in Hindi titled Tokri Me Diggan Der Gatha. Digambar Kavi Nilakeshwar backs Sahitya Academy Award, renowned writer Nilakeshwar and one among the six Digambara Kagulu has, has been chosen for the Kendriya Sahitya Academy Award 2020 for his anthology of poems Agni Swasa painted in 2017. A poet with a focus on social issues for almost six decades now, Nilakeshwar also contributed to English and Hindi languages. Cabinet gives nod to amendments in Insurance Act to increase FDI limit to 74%. The Union Cabinet has approved to increase the foreign direct investment limit to 74%. Currently, the permis permissible FDI limit in life and general insurance stand at 49% with ownership and management control with Indian. The cabinet has approval for amendments in the Insurance Act 1938. The decision regarding increasing the FDI was taken during budget 2021 on February. In 2015, the government hiked the FDI capital in the insurance sector from 26% to 49%. Government launches Mera Ration mobile app. Union Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution launched Mera Ration mobile app for those ration card holders who migrate to new places in search of livelihood. This app will help benefit especially those ration card holders who move to new areas for livelihoods. The app is developed by the government in association with NIC to facilitate various ON ORC related services among National Food Security Act beneficiaries, particularly migrant beneficiaries, F, PCS dealers, and other relevant stakeholders. Mithali Raj becomes first Indian woman cricketer to score 10,000 international runs. Mithali Raj became the first Indian woman to score 10,000 runs in International Day of Mathematics observed on March 14. The International Day of Mathematics in, is 14th March. It is also known as Pi Day because the mathematical constant 
Pi can be rounded up to 33.14. UNESCO 40th General Conference decided Pi Day as the International Day of Mathematics in November 2019. This year, the theme of the International Day of Mathematics is Mathematics for a Better World. On the occasion of International Day of Mathematics 2021, Audrey Azole, Director General of UNESCO, in an official statement said, mathematics with its many technical application now underpins all areas of our lives. Cricket across all formats, the 38-year-old Mithali led the Indian ODI team join England Charlotte Edwards in the elite club. World Consumer Rights Day observed on March 15. Consumer International is the membership organization for consumer groups around the world. The World Consumer Rights Day 2021 themes to gather all the consumers in a fight to tackle plastic pollutions. Founded on 1 Mar April, founded on 1st of April 1960, it has over 250 members organization in 120 countries. Its head office is based in London, England, with a regional office in Latin America, Asia Pacific, Middle East, and Africa. World's fastest supercomputer, Fugaku, introduced. The world's most powerful supercomputer named Fugaku, developed by Japanese Scientist Research Institute, Riken and Fujitsu, has been made available for research work. The development of the machine was started about six years ago in 2014 and was completed in May 2020. 74 research projects have already been selected by Japan's research organization for information science and technology and will implement it from April 2021. Jammu and Kashmir government sanctioned interest-free loan worth 2 lakh rupees for PMAY beneficiaries. Jammu and Kashmir government have approved a proposal to provide interest-free loan up to 2 lakh rupees to urban homeless economically weaker section beneficiaries under beneficiary-led construction component of Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana. Jammu and Kashmir Administrative Council, which met under the chairmanship of Lieutenant Governor Manosina, approved the proposal of Housing and Urban Development Department New mobile app Bol Subol on poll stats launch for assembly elections ahead of assembly elections in four st states and a union territory. A startup firm has unveiled a mobile application with poll statistics and data on the country's economy to help voters take fact-based decisions before exercising their franchise. First quad leader summit held virtually. The first historic virtual summit of quadrilateral leaders. The virtual summit was attended by the leaders of India, Japan, USA, Australia. Prime Minister Narendra Modi, President Biden from US, Prime Minister Scott Morrison from Australia, Prime Minister Yoshinde Sunga from Japan addressed the first quadrilateral leaders virtual summit. In November 2017, India, Japan and the US Australia give, gave shape to the long pending proposal of setting up the Quad to develop a new strategy to keep the critical sea routes in the Indo-Pacific free of any influence. Jammu and Kashmir celebrate festival of Shivratri Herat. The Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir celebrates the festival of Shivratri Herat. It is a three day festival starting from March 10, 2021 to March 12. Festival Mahashivratri, locally known as Herat in Kashmir, is being celebrated across Jammu and Kashmir by Kashmiri Pandit community with religious fervor by offering Vatak Nath Puja. ISRO launches RH560 to study attitudinal variation. On March 12, 2021, the Indian Space Research Organization launched a surrounding rocket and Andhra Pradesh Sri Harikota based Satish Dhawan Space Center. It is mainly for studying the attitudinal variation in neutral winds and plasma dynamics. ISRO currently has three different versions of sounding rockets, namely RH200, RH300, 
mk second and r is 560 mk second that's all for today's current affairs bulletin thank you for watching namaskar